Skateboarding was originally known as sidewalk surfing, as those pioneering the sport wanted to replicate the thrills and excitement of being out on the waves. Because of this, most people didn't wear any shoes or socks when skating during the early days. Of course, it has evolved a lot since then, now being a culture of its own. In today's video, we will show you the top 10 skateboarding movies of all time. Number 10. Gleaming the Cube in this 1989 skateboarding classic that was directed by Graham Clifford and starring Christian Slater, a 16-year-old Brian Kelly decides to investigate the death of his adopted brother. The film had a very moderate release, but later became a cult classic among the skateboarding community. The film features some of the greatest skateboarders of all time, including Mike Vallely, Chris Black, Ted Eyre, Natus Kalpas, Chris Borst, Steve Says, Tony Hawk, and Tommy Guerrero. Number 9. Thrashin. Thrashin' is another film from the 80s that featured some of the top skaters in the world, including Tony Hawk, Steven Caballero, and Christian Hosoy. The film is regarded as a cult classic for its heavy 80s influence and the focus on the skateboarding culture. The film stars Josh Brolin, Robert Russler, and Pamela Gidley. Originally, Johnny Depp was set to star, but producers rejected him during early development. The Red Hot Chili Peppers also made an appearance in the film, who, at the time, was a band favored by many within the skateboarding community. Number 8. Paranoid Park Written and directed by Gus Van Sant, Paranoid Park follows a teenage skateboarder caught up within a police investigation following a mysterious death. Paranoid Park was mainly filmed in Oregon, with scenes of its fictional skate park being filmed at the illegally built Burnside Skate Park. Director Gus Van Sant cast the film by putting a casting call on MySpace. The idea was a success, as he not only found teenagers who were perfect for the roles, but also found some that were skilled at skateboarding. Number 7. Skate Kitchen this next film was inspired by a real-life skateboarding crew from New York with the actual members playing fictional versions of themselves. The film was written and directed by Crystal Moselle after she met the gang on the subway. Skate Kitchen made its debut at the 2018 Sundance Film Festival and was later released in cinemas by Magnolia Pictures. A spin-off series was created by HBO, which aired in May 2020. The story revolves around Camille, who is an 18-year-old girl living with her mother in Long Island. After a nasty accident, her mother makes her promise to never skate again, a promise that she cannot keep. Number 6. Lords of Dogtown Starring Heath Ledger, Emile Hirsch, and Nikki Reed, our next entry is a biographical drama film about a gang of skaters living in Santa Monica, California in 1970. Although the people depicted are real, the story is fictionalized. The film follows the evolution of skateboarding and a gang that would one day be known as the Z-Boys. The film was met with mixed reviews, with Ledger's portrayal of Sid being one of the most praised parts of it. Despite how some feel, there are many who enjoy Lords of Dogtown for the fantastic skating skills shown and its raw and passionate story. Number 5. Stoked – The Rise and Fall of Gator The movie tells the story of an 80s skateboarding legend who became a convicted murderer and rapist. The documentary spans the space of a decade and delves into the life of Mark Gator Rogowski and why he went down the path he did. The film doesn't only give an interesting glimpse into the mind of a criminal, but also explores the rise of skateboarding culture and shows the audience footage from that time. Stoked first premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, but was later released worldwide. Number 4. Waiting for Lightning Another documentary film following the life of a skateboarding icon, Waiting for Lightning tells the real-life story of Danny Way and the struggles he faced as he built his career. This film includes some amazing interviews and stunts, including the time he famously jumped over the Great Wall of China. The film was directed by Jacob Rosenberg and included first-hand accounts from celebrities such as Tony Hawk, Rob Dyrdek, and Travis Pastrana. Number 3. Mid-90s Written and directed by comedy star Jonah Hill, Mid-90s is a coming-of-age comedy that tells the story of a 13-year-old boy living in Los Angeles during the 90s who becomes friends with a group of older skateboarders. Before filming, Jonah Hill asked Martin Scorsese and Ethan Cohen for advice on the filmmaking process, an act that seemed to pay off for Hill's first outing as a writer and director. The film premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and won an NBR award for being one of the top 10 movies of 2018. Number 2. Dogtown and Z-Boys This next entry is also about the Z-Boys, but was a documentary about the street skating team that pioneered the sport. This film is narrated by Sean Penn and explores the history of skating, which originally started in Southern California. The documentary is praised for its use of vintage skateboarding footage, its phenomenal editing, and the enlightening interviews done with the skaters. Our number one pick is Bones Brigade, an autobiography. The final entry in our list is a documentary that is considered the best chronicle of skateboarding history ever made. 
It covers the entire progression of the sport from the early 70s up until the late 80s when skateboarding culture was at its peak. It is an inspirational, touching, and educational journey that focuses on skating legends such as Rodney Mullen, Tony Hawk, Steve Caballero, Tommy Guerrero, and Lance Mountain, along with their Bones Brigade. The movie was rated an 8.1 on a scale of 10 on imdb.com and received a meta score of 66 on Metacritic. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.